Hey guys, we're going to be going over how to seed our PostgreSQL database in Docker. Now if you don't know what it means to seed a database, that just means to initialize with some data. Now before we get into that, what I want to do is actually get our reconnect logic working that we started in the last video. So the reason why it wasn't working, I discovered, um, was we are creating the SQLize instance in this try catch, but we don't actually try to connect to our database until in our index.js file down here when we try to sync it up. So when we call models.sqlize.sync, that's when we make the database connection and realize we're actually not connected. So what we need to do is actually make the connection in our try catch block. So I can remove the actual creating of SQLize, move that up here, and we can just make that constant now. And there's a little function that SQLize gives us to make sure we're connected, and it's called authenticate. So we can just call SQLize.authenticate to make sure we're connected. And I'm just going to await that and copy the islint. So now what's going to happen is when we, we defined our SQLize object, we're going to try to connect to the database. If we can't connect, we just keep trying to reconnect. So I'm going to come back over here and just do npm run build. And then I'm going to run the Docker image or build the Docker image, Docker build. And then we're going to do Docker compose up. And if you remember, I have this line commented out. Um, so we're actually not waiting for it. We're just going to use our um, reconnect logic that we created right here. And if you guys want to, you can play with how long we sleep for and how many reconnects you want to do um, on your own. So now let's run docker compose up and see if we uh, are able to connect. All right, so here's Redis log. We see web reconnecting in five seconds, perfect. And it looks like our DB is still starting up, hasn't started up yet. Looks like we're waiting five more seconds and Awesome, now our database was ready to accept connections and our web, we see it start up okay. So it looks like our reconnect logic is now finally working. Let's make sure I'm gonna refresh the client over here. And cool, we see john at john.com. So now I wanna show you guys how I like to seed the PostgreSQL database. Now I'm not sure what the right way or the correct way to do it in Docker, but I'll show you the way I like that's pretty easy. So the first thing we're gonna do is just open up a port on our database service, kind of like how we do for our website. Now the port that it's running on is four three um, or five four three two one or not one four five four three two, and uh, that's the default for PostgreSQL, I believe. And then here we want to pick any port that we want it to run on our computer or bind to, and I'm just gonna say. 3030 and give that a save. So now when we say docker compose up where you can actually connect to our PostgreSQL database. So let me show you guys that. So I'm going to cancel that and just say docker compose down afterwards, clean it up. And then we're going to start it back up and I'm just going to start it back up in a um, background tab. So docker compose up. That way I can connect to it. Now, what we're going to do is just PG dump. So whatever you want to seed your database with, I like to just do PG dump of my current database. So here I'm going to dump our Slack database that we have, and I'm just going to put in a file called dump.sql. So now I want to use this database I just created, or I just dumped which I call dump.sql, and I want to use that to basically seed my database. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect to our database um, that we open, that we create in Docker, and then uh, dump all this data inside of it. So now I can connect to my database. Hopefully it's up. So uh, the host is going to be localhost. Port is going to be 3030. Our user is going to be Postgres, and the name of our database is Slack. And now here we have to put our password for the user Postgres, and that is Postgres. And now I'm in, 
and if I select all from users, hopefully we see John. Cool, we see John at John.com. So this is how I can connect to it. So what I can do is I can say drop DB and we'll put in our password Postgres and then I'm going to create the database called Slack. Um, so Postgres. So I just deleted our original database called Slack, created a new one called Slack. So now what I can do is I can say psql and I can put dump.sql inside. So this is the syntax for basically putting um, the SQL that we got from dump SQL inside of Slack. So what it's going to do is it's going to run the code and let's just run this and show you guys. And it's going to put all of our data inside that database. So now if I come over here to my original command, I can see who my users are. So select all from users. And now we see the Bob characters that we uh, originally have. And I can come over here, refresh, and we can log in as Bob. Okay, Bob at Bob.com. And we should see all of our messages and stuff that you sent before. Cool. And come over here, see all this stuff. Awesome. So that's how I like to see the database is to basically take a dump of the current state of a database that I like. Um, so example, the one we've been using in development and then just put that into the container um, by do dropping the prior database, creating a new one, and then just using psql to pop it in there. And so that's it for this video guys. And note how I was using port 3030 over there because I put 3030 here. Um, you just want to make sure those match up. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.